All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to connect your Nintendo Switch 1 Joy-Cons to your Windows 11 PC so you can use them to play all of your favorite games, and it'll also treat them as a singular controller. So to do this, the first thing you need to do is grab yourself PS4 Windows, and to do that, you can just Google it or use the link that I put in the video description below. And you want the one that's on GitHub that's releases Ryochan 7. I don't know who runs this domain, but they are not the original developer. So if you pop over here, what you're gonna need to do is download three things. You're gonna need to download DS4 Windows itself, which is down here. Grab the 64-bit zip file right here. Then you're gonna need to have the .NET Framework, which is linked right here, they recommend the 8 version, which was the most recent when this was last updated, but I would recommend you go ahead and grab the 9.0 version, which I will link in the video description. You're going to want to come over here to the .NET Desktop Runtime 9.0.9 .9, and grab the 64-bit version. And then the last thing you're going to need to download is the Vision Bus driver. If you look up Vision Bus, you want to go to this little GitHub release page right here. This is made by a guy named Nefarious Software Solutions. He makes all kinds of software, both open source and paid. And you can grab Vision Bus right here. It's the driver that allows your controller to properly talk to your computer. Once you have all that stuff downloaded, I put it all in a nice little folder right here called Windows 11 Controller 2025. You're going to want to go through and install first .NET Framework, which I've got installed right here, 9.0.9. .9. I've also got Vision Bus installed, and then the last thing you need to do is you're going to need to extract the DS4 Windows zip file to a folder of the same name. Now before I go inside of that folder and actually run the program, we're going to connect our Joy-Cons to our Windows 11 PC using Bluetooth. You can, if you purchase the special charging cable or uh, dock for your controllers, it allows you to like plug it in while you're playing. You can use that and that sometimes works to connect it to your PC. However, it's a lot more reliable to just connect it using Bluetooth. So if you open up your Bluetooth settings for Windows, you just open up your Windows 11 settings and go to Bluetooth and devices in the left hand sidebar. And then once you do, start with the left Joy-Con. On the rail that allows you to slide it into your Switch 1, there's a circular little button in the middle next to the lights. Go ahead and press and hold that until the lights start to dance. Once they do, you can click Add Device, Add Bluetooth, and it should show up as Joy-Con L. I actually like Nintendo. They actually label their devices when they're connecting remotely. Now, mine, the lights on mine turned off, but yours might never turn off when you're doing this. So if it doesn't turn off, but it does say it's connected, don't worry about it. Uh, we're going to do the same thing with the other controller. Press and hold on that little circular button to the light stance and click Add Device, Add Bluetooth Device. And then once it reads that it exists, which can take a second, Joy-Con R, that'll be the right one. And now both of them are connected to our computer. So we can minimize that, and then we can go inside of DS4 Windows folder. Inside of here, there's a little icon with like a little rainbowy like picture on it. That's DS4 Windows application. Give that a click and run it. It'll ask you first where you want to save your settings for DS4 Windows. I always put them in the program folder. That way, if you ever have to reset this, all you have to do is delete the program folder and extract a new copy. And then inside of the next window, this is important, don't skip this one. This is where you determine your device compatibility. So basically, the start option is for DS4 supported devices, this is PS4 controllers, untick that. You either want to tick the Joy-Con device support or the Switch Pro controller device support. Those are your Nintendo uh, devices. Uh, if you only need the Joy-Cons, only select the Joy-Cons and then click Close. This thing supports PS4, PS5, Pro Controller, Joy-Cons, and PS3. And when you click Close, it should open up DS4 Windows and it should start up and start doing all of the stuff with the things. And then just there, you see it, it, it went into start mode and now it detects both of my Joy-Cons. And because this default profile pull down for settings profiles is only on one of them, 
It's currently treating them as a singular controller because we paired them as a set at the same time. If this doesn't immediately pop open, you might have to hit start in the bottom left, or sorry, the bottom right corner, because sometimes it doesn't automatically start. So just click start so that it says stop in the corner. And once it's started, again, these should show up. When I clicked on start, it actually showed that one of these was paired as controller one and one of these was compared as controller two and the blue ring around the home button on the right Joy-Con lit up. Uh, and now you're good to go. This is gonna pretend to be an Xbox 360 controller and it'll allow you to play all of your favorite games as if you had native compatibility. Unfortunately, there's no way to emulate a Nintendo controller using DS4 Windows, nor was there ever any plans to. So anyway, that should be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, this has been how you connect your Joy-Cons to your Windows 11 PC so you can use them as a controller to play whatever games you want. If you want, you can click on this edit button, which will allow you to go through and click on any of these buttons on this picture of a PlayStation controller and rebind them. You just have to look, you know, on the right side of your controller, the joystick's going to be in a different place than on the left. Uh, but you can pretty much figure out which button is which based upon their orientation and rebind them to anything on an Xbox controller or on your mouse and keyboard. And then when you're done, you can hit save. And then it'll save your settings and you should be hunky dory and good to go. So until next time, I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody. and Have a good one.